What you're looking at here is a small Van de Graaff machine that I uh, made uh, last night uh, powering a uh, Corona motor. The Corona motor is just a uh, disc of dielectric plastic mounted on a non-conductive bearing uh, and you can see the electrodes there. The uh, Van de Graaff machine that I constructed is a uh, negative machine. The top terminal is negative and I have a uh, little neon NE2 on a stick here and as I put the NE2 close to the terminal I don't know if you can see that or not but the rod inside the NE2 that is closest to the terminal is the one that's glowing here and uh, that shows that the machine is in fact a negative machine because in a neon, uh, a neon tube actuated by DC, only the negative uh, electrode and the space between the electrodes glows. Uh, I'm going to turn this off here for a moment. And uh, just for comparison purposes, I have over here a uh, positive machine. This machine has a positive uh, terminal on the top. So we'll turn it on and uh, I'll hold the neon up to its terminal and when I do that the uh, rod inside the neon that's closest to me uh, glows slightly, it flashes a little bit and the one that's closest to the sphere stays dark so that shows that the sphere of this machine is positive uh, and I'm negative okay, so I'll turn that off, man that thing is really popping already so I just wanted to show that for comparison purposes. The uh, difference between these two machines is the <coughs> positive machine has uh, a Teflon roller on the bottom and a brass roller on the top. The negative machine is uh, reversed. It has a brass roller on the bottom uh, and a Teflon roller on the top. And I'll show you that right here. There's the uh, Teflon roller in there, and in this one, there's the brass roller. So, we showed that power in the corona motor. Now, what I'm going to do is put the ping pong ball unit up there. And we'll hook it up with the beat chain as before. For you electrostatic experimenters, the beat chain makes a very good uh, conductor for high voltage. It acts uh, like a much thicker conductor in terms of the field around it, so it doesn't blow off corona like a thin wire would, and yet it's very flexible as you can see. So. This is the ground return. Hang out on there like that. We zoom into that a little bit. So we've got that uh, ping pong ball uh, just uh, rocking and rolling in there. That thing is really moving.
Now the rate that the ping pong ball goes back and forth is related to the uh, current output of the Van Graaff machine. The faster the ping pong ball goes back and forth, of course, the more current the machine is putting out. And you'll uh, note some variations in the speed of the ping pong ball uh, during this demonstration. I don't know what's causing that. It's, uh, I think it might be moisture in the air uh, as the uh, furnace in the uh, other room cycles on and off. We get blasts of uh, warmer, drier, cooler, moister air coming through in here, and that may be affecting the uh, current output of the machine. So the ping pong ball changes its uh, rate of travel uh, a little bit slows down some, speeds up. Sometimes it even uh, just comes to a halt and then starts up again. <clears throat> uh, eat your heart out, desert file. Don't you wish just sometimes that you could actually do something. And just for fun, let's start her up again, see if it'll self-start. Oh yeah! Okay, thanks for watching.